In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the Genia NAC REST API. So first, we'll take a look at our demo system here. Um, of course, this is the default dashboard with all sorts of information about the nodes that have been detected by the system. They're grouped, categorized with all sorts of information, and then you have all sorts of other information relative to IP address, uh, correlation, wireless information regarding all of the different SSIDs, compliance information with the different status for various policies, etc. Asset information. So you have all sorts of different information about the assets that are on the network information about the wired WAN and information about the CVEs that are correlated with the nodes that are on the system. We'll take a look at the node list here. Um, this is a list of all the nodes associated with this system. We're going to pick an available IEP because for this demo we're going to add and remove a node by IP and MAC address to the system. So we're going to use 1.1.1.4 as our example to dynamically add a node and then remove a node utilizing the, the REST API. We're going to uh, use this MAC address for the demo, so we'll put that here. And then also when adding nodes to the system, uh, they're typically correlated with a, uh, with a particular sensor. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at this sensor here, um, which is the San Jose sensor. And um, in this, we're going to actually grab the sensor ID right here. And we will leverage this when we add the node to our system. So we have the information we're going to need when we actually get into the API. So from here, we're going to navigate to the API interface. Um, of course, there's instructions here on how to obtain uh, an API key. So um, whatever system you're going to be using to uh, integrate with via the REST API, you can set up the API key and, and then you could um, obviously automate any of your uh, REST API calls. We'll be doing manual testing just for the purposes of simplicity in this demo. So if we scroll down a little bit, we'll see all sorts of different um, categories that you can use here. We'll just dive into a couple of these. Um, we looked at the CV information earlier in the dashboard. You can get that information via REST API. Um, we looked at all sorts of uh, uh, different node groups. Um, all of that information is available. You can get a node group, add a node group, delete a node group. Um, same thing with enforcement policies. So any of those enforcement policies we looked at, you can actually add, remove, modify. Um, Genie and NAC comes with a bunch of great reporting. So you could use your REST API to grab reports out of Genie and NAC and feed those into an external uh, system. Um, if you have SNMP enabled, you can get information relative to switches. Um, there's user databases there that you can access. You can list and add, delete, modify users. So that's just a few examples. We'll be looking at the nodes category for our demo today. And in here, we're going to actually, um, we're going to add a node and then remove a node. So we'll do a basic an example just to show how the API works. So in here, uh, we have to populate certain information here. So what we're going to do, as we talked about before, we're going to do 1.1.1.4. We will paste in our dummy MAC address. And the sensor ID that I grabbed earlier.
And then we're going to set this to false. This way uh, we can delete the node after. You can add nodes that cannot be deleted. Um, so if you leave that set to true, you won't be able to delete the node after. So we've populated this information. Um, we'll go ahead and click execute. Scroll down here. So there's uh, an example of the curl command, what that looks like. There is our success code 200 and the information we sent. So now what we'll do is we'll go back to the dashboard. And we're going to refresh this node list. And there we see the node. Um, so we've added the node. Um, notice that we've only used basic information for this demo, but obviously you could um, add much more information relative to this node, a lot more detail um, that you can associate with that node as shown in uh, the rest of the API documentation there. So for the purposes of this demo, we just wanted to uh, show the API working and add a node. Um, and so what we can do now is just look at the logging. There is logging um, that is associated with this. So if I take a look, you'll see that there was a new node and it was detected. Um, and this would be, for example, the IP of your system that is uh, sending the API calls um, to Genie and NAC, which show up here. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and remove the node. We'll go back to the nodes category. And we will uh, remove node. So now what we're going to do is remove it by the node ID. So you can also obtain node ID um, through the node details uh, of the particular node that you've added. So if we look at the 1.1.1.4 node, every single node has a particular node ID associated with it in Genie and NAC. Um, you can always list that or get that right after you do a post to know what that is, to track that. So we're going to leverage that. And we'll go back to the uh, API again. We'll go down to nodes. And delete. We'll try it out. We'll add in the node ID string. We will execute. And we'll scroll down and take a look here. So there's the uh, curl command example. And then there you go. There's the success in the code 200. We'll go back into the dashboard. We're going to refresh this node list. And 1.1.1.4 is now gone. So we've deleted it. And we'll verify, of course, that our logging reflects it. And there is the associated log entry showing the deletion and what endpoint deleted it. So that's an example, a very basic example of our Genie and NAC REST API capabilities. Again, there's all sorts of scenarios where you could use this and automate this to um, control um, anything that happens inside the system relative to nodes and also access all the data um, and reporting and node details that are in the system um, in by external systems and import that data in to use it for um, other purposes or other reporting mechanisms.